before the video properly starts, I just want to say that if you want to learn a more detailed sort of thumbnail, go watch Trippus's video. And for this thumbnail, you actually made his thumbnail pack. So that will be down below. Also, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. But without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, and also quickly, you need a world, that world download of your choice. Doesn't matter if it's for bed walls, for sky walls, you just need your own world download of a map so yeah let's get into it and if you don't have any world downloads like i said before just just go find a world bed was world that you like and i'm just gonna go on to lighthouse here i think yeah lighthouse and then go into your inventory type uh leather just one two three so now you have the bed wars armor on. and at this point you can go ahead and get your iron sword stone sword doesn't really matter I'm just gonna go ahead and get an iron sword and I'm just gonna start my replay and just run around swinging my sword just doing whatever this stuff part doesn't really matter just do whatever you'd like to be in your thumbnail so if you want to be looking like this then just do that so yeah that's probably good now i've been doing this for a decent time so i can go ahead stop the recording go to my title uh go to my minecraft settings video settings shaders and just apply a shader of my choice so now all my shaders on i can go ahead to my replay viewer and just go into my lighthouse replay just if you go ahead and press t you can pause it take a look around as you can see this looks pretty nice and here I am over here so we'll just fly over to me and just speed very lower the speed right, so I just found a little thing I like so I'm just gonna go ahead press F1 to hide the menu and then take a screenshot I'm gonna do mine on NVIDIA, you can do it through Minecraft, whatever you like. I might take another one, but probably not as the sun's there. So, maybe like that. But I'm probably gonna go with something like this. So now my screenshots are done, I can just go ahead, exit the replay, exit the game load up photoshop and for your thumbnails you want to make it um 19 g okay so you just want to go ahead over here just press create new and then 1920 by 1080 is the average youtube thumbnail th size so we are here and i am just going to go get my thumbnail Alright, so I found my thumbnails here, uh, screenshots here, so I'm just going to drag them, and here Alright, so are. just come over here, choose your, um, polygonal lasso tool, and just go ahead and outline the character, so I'm just going to do a quick time lapse of that, and I'll be back when I'm done. Alright, so I am now done. I messed up a little there, but I fixed it. Like, yeah, I'll just delete that after. And I can go and just layer via copy. I can come back, fix my mistake, just go there, delete that. And now we are left with this character. And I am going to use a layer style that I got from Trippus's thumbnail pack. I uh, link for that will be in the description. You can just copy these settings here. I'm just gonna decrease this and maybe that. So yep, these are the settings. You can change them for how you like. 
I'm actually just gonna decrease the opacity on this shadow just by a little bit and then I can go ahead press control uh, copy these two control T and then just resize this until I have a decent sized screenshot like this now what you want to gonna do is go into your background screenshot not the new layer style just this go over to filter at the top blur radial blur zoom around four to five and then just move this over to whichever side your character's on so now it's gonna blur over to the character you can even add this onto the character itself just a little bit maybe like boo. yeah that looks good and then i can go and do filter filter gallery cross hatch and then 301 then i can repeat that by going here and then just clicking this on the background of course so now my background's done, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new layer, go to my rectangle tool, change the fill to white, create this around 25, actually no fill sorry, and stroke is um, around 25 pixels, and white. Then you just want to click anywhere on the screen, type 1920, 1080 or whatever your dimensions are, drag this to the center. I think I can make this around 50 and then we just want to go overlay and drag that behind the character here. I'm actually just going to decrease the saturation to around 40 just for now, maybe maybe 50 and then just go over to, I forgot what this is called, I'm sorry. Um, I just really can't remember right now. Then go over to your gradient and drag up like that. I'm just going to repeat that. Start at the bottom, drag up to around the center. And basically, they'll just mask the bottom. I think that's the word. I'm still not sure, sorry. And I'll just get rid of the bottom of this rectangle. And then, yep, that's it for now. With my background, I'm just going to go ahead, go to color overlay change this to hue and then i can basically do whichever color i like for the background i'm just gonna do 60 uh, opacity and then i'm gonna change this to overlay here and then maybe around 10 percent opacity except as my skin's already orange and my background uh, color on my skin is sort of aquarish i'm just gonna go and do this color instead and yep I'm just gonna decrease the hue because that's quite high and now you're just gonna go get uh, your keyboard and mouse as a PNG so this is the Razer TKL Black Radio I don't know I don't really care but it's one of my keyboards and this isn't a this isn't a PNG there's some background we have to get rid of so just go over to this magic wand select the white or whatever color it is in the background and just tap to delete and you're left with this keyboard you can go over to your su tool again just get rid of a little cable up the top delete that and what we are left with is just this keyboard we can go to double click the side over here go to color overlay change it to Q. And this will just try to change the lighting on the keyboard. I can make the lighting purple, red, orange, green, whatever I like. But I'm just going to leave it with this. Now you're going to resize the keyboard to around this size. And because I don't really want this to be in the background when I drag it down here. We're just going to sort of go back to this lasso tool. And just could go up through our character select the rest around there just tap delete so now it is just this and at this point I'm gonna resize our character maybe even 
Okay, never mind. Yep, so we just resized our character. I may, might be able to just go on our keyboard, go to the transform tool, just tilt it a little. Maybe do that so it's not as... Yeah, that looks right. right. Now we can also go and get our mouse. So I'll be back with my mouse. Make sure you save this, by the way. So I'm here with a PNG of my Model O wireless. I'm just gonna resize and flip this horizontally because I just am. Might be able to tilt that a little, resize it a little more. And I go here. Once again, we go here, go to Q, and we just make this a little brighter and the color we want. So now that's the correct color. I'm actually gonna go fix the backdrop. So we'll just make that a little more blue. Yeah, decrease the overlay more here. And if we go over to our keyboard and our mouse, we can just group that. Move it behind our character. Add a little drop shadow. A gradient overlay. Makes it a little more bright. And then we can go and get the emoji if you want one or you can just put some text so another part of this is the little sound emoji thing that is also in Trippus's Trippus? yeah I think it's Trippus's anyways it's in his thumbnail pack so I'm just gonna drag that down to the corner here I'm also gonna go and get the starburst from his thumbnail pack I think I might have said starburst, but it's actually sunburst. So we just drag that behind our character. There we go, we have a little starburst. Oh, sunburst. And with this group here, I'm actually just going to go ahead and change this once again. Because I'm not too sure with how this looks. So I'm just going to change it to an orangey color. So it matches my skin. Uh, nah, let's just, let's just leave it like that. And maybe we can just change the mouse to an orange. Alright, so we have this here, and that looks pretty good just for now. But we can go back to this rectangle from earlier, add a color overlay if you'd like. That's completely up to you. I might just go ahead and add a blue color overlay so it just sort of blends in a little better with the background. And then when we want to go to the sunburst again and just control J to copy it and then just enlarge it and chuck it behind, behind the uh, keyboard and the other sunburst. And with the one behind our character, we can just um, go here and decrease this to around 20%. Maybe even increase it. Nah, we'll just decrease it to around 30%. So now we're here with this, and I'm just going to go back to my character. Just keep messing around with it. Just keep increasing. Yep, that looks good. And let's just add a little, some more text at the front. So we'll just go here, type something like ASMR. Just change this color to white for now. We'll go to maybe Akira Expanded, the font. I'll go here and use one of the overlays from... Yeah, I think this looks cool. This is from Chirpus's VFX pack. Uh, thumbnail pack again, sorry. So we'll just go here, we'll copy this, and we'll just add a arc. So 15. And that looks pretty good. So we'll just increase that, maybe even change the font. We can go to Mont, that looks a little better for the video. Just go back onto it, decrease the arc a little, so 
10% would probably fit it a little better. Move it up a little. Just keep messing around with it and find what you like. But I'm gonna go here and make the drop shadow just a little larger. And we come out. And this is what the thumbnail looks like. So I just went to change the color of that text and I have one more thing left to do and that is my emoji, so it's on my other monitor, sorry, but I'm going to drag it over here and it's a little sleepy emoji and we'll just chuck that down in the corner here, just keep changing the size, just go onto it, drop shadow, even a gradient, oh that's the wrong gradient, but we'll just add it anyways. So we can go back here, delete this, keep, and the gradient you want in this is just from black to white, something like this. So yep, and then you go ahead, choose overlay or something, to increase the opacity a little, maybe even add an inner glow depending on what you want to do. So yeah, I'm thinking that looks a little good, better. Go back to our gradient overlay, we'll just change that. Increase that a little, and... Change the size of our inner glow, it's a little too large. But yeah, this is what we are left with. You don't even really need the emoji, I'd probably do it with that one. So it looks pretty similar to this thumbnail, of course. So yeah, this is how to make a ASMR thumbnail. Thank you for watching, and peace.